Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So in today's video I'll be showing you how to make an old piece of furniture into a glamorous beautiful piece of furniture. So I got this coffee table at a garage sale. It was originally marked for $30, but we bargained it and got it for $15, so that was really exciting. It is really solid wood. Like, the wood is a really good type of wood. It's heavy. It's solid. You can, uh, you can reuse this wood over and over again, so I thought we had a steal of a deal. Originally, I wanted to take this table and make it into, like, a distressed gray wood to match my living room because the colors in my living room are gray black and white, so I thought a gray table would be really fitting. However, I just thought that might be just too much work for me at this point. So I found these big mirror tiles at Dollarama. I've seen mirrored tables, and like the cheapest one I can find online is about 500 bucks, which is quite expensive for like a dainty type of table. So I have a vision in my mind of what I think this table is gonna look like. I don't know if it's gonna turn out the way I want it to. I've never done this before. This is the first time I'm trying to refurbish furniture into glamorous furniture. If you'd like to see my attempt at making glamorous piece of furniture, please keep watching. So this is the before of the coffee table. So it's like really solid wood, so I'm going to paint the sides here is my plan, just on the edges, and I'm going to leave the top for the mirrored tiles. That's what I'm planning to do outside. You really don't even need a lot of things for this. All you need is just a few materials. So you're gonna need your coffee table, you're gonna need some spray paint. I chose this flat soft iron metallic paint and primer in one, and I'm hoping it really turns out the same as the top there. You're gonna need some mirror tiles. I used 12 for mine because that's how much the surface needed there. And then you're gonna just need some E6000 and glue. So the first step is literally just to take the spray paint and start spraying. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. Now that time has passed and I've done this already, I would not spray as close because spraying as close ended up forming some droplets there and I do show you how to fix that later but if I could do this again, I would definitely try to spray back a little bit to have more of an even surface there. So you know my mistakes will hopefully be helpful for you guys. Also to optional, you could sand down the table beforehand if you wanted to to get more grit. Alright, so this is what the first part looks like. It is drying right now and I did end up using two spray cans for this. But I'm really liking how it turned out. It really did match what the spray bottle said it would look like. It's like a nice dark iron matte finish. So yeah, this is why you want to spray first because you can see on top here there is a bunch of spray paint that got there. So if the tiles were there, it would get on there. But yeah, so letting this dry. Um, if I could do this again, the one thing I was kind of lazy and didn't get cardboard, but what I would do the second time around is I put cardboard under to spray this because now after this dries, I'm going to have to lift up each of the legs to make sure that the bottoms are all sprayed up properly. On a random note, check out my cherries in my yard. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful and red and plump they are. They started off yellow and have been slowly getting darker and darker, except they're sour. So, so sour, so I don't know. I don't think they're really going to turn into sweet, sweet cherries, but this is just a little side to show you my cherry tree. Okay, so now it's all dried up and you can kind of see there's little tiny bumps there because again, I sprayed too close my first time around. So what I'm going to do at this point is take a sander and just smooth it out. I just want everything to be completely even. So just gently buffing that out to make sure all of it's smooth and then I'm going to respray that again from a more of a distance this time to get a nice even coat there. And you can see I finally put the cardboard under the, the stools there. So after buffing it out, I've sprayed it and given it some time to dry so you can see it looks so much smoother already and looks so nice and even. So I'm so happy with how it's looking right now. It looks really good everywhere. And then your next step will be to take your mirror tiles. I like to lay things out first before I glue them on to make sure that everything fits properly. So I'm putting everything on the table. And once you have it where you like, you just take your E6000 glue and glue it on. Are you guys ready for the final result? It's right behind me. I'm so excited to show you. All right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my goodness. 
So this is the final result. I am so in love with this. This actually turned out way, way better than I expected. And I just absolutely adore this. I am so excited to be spending so much more time in my living room. I need to be studying some things. So now I will have such a beautiful visual to sit and do that. So yeah, I'm so happy with this. Can you believe all of this cost about $60? Like it's insane. I cannot believe this is from the Dollarama. I think this looks high-end, glamorous, luxurious. I know I put a few things on the table here. Honestly, all of this stuff is from either I got from a garage sale, a Dollarama, or Dollar Tree. So it just really makes this all look really put together and it just makes it come together so nicely. I have these psychology books from my good old university days. I'm actually gonna change them though and make them designer books. Would you be interested in seeing how I do that? If you are, comment below and I will maybe make a video if I get enough interest. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. This final results. So stinking happy with this. I am so excited. That turned out way 10 times better than I ever could have imagined. It's so beautiful. It fits in my living room so nicely and I just absolutely love it. I'm so excited to be spending more time in my living room, admiring my table, just loving my table. And the best part about it is that this whole project, including the table, probably costs about $60. So $60 for a glamorous table that looks way more expensive makes me a very happy person. So thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye.